welcome. We are now on episode five. Five, yes, it's five. Five already. Lucky number five. Well, I don't know what number five know, is. Five, I don't know. Anywho. And you are with us. I am Jazz. I am Sherry. We are giving up the ghost. And we are here as your audio curators. For the evening. For the evening or the night. And uh, Saturday night is okay for podcasting. That's right. Saturday. This, Saturday. This is our uh, second ramble sode because we have nothing prepared to present. Well, we do and we don't. Yeah, we just like to ramble. We like to ramble. We've been sitting here talking. Trust mun me. Munching, eating, For gossiping. three hours or so. Yeah, you know, whatever it takes. Whatever yeah. for you. So... Uh, if you wish to get a hold and contribute to our cause, we are at Giving Up the Ghost Podcast at gmail.com and Giving Up the Ghost Twitter, Giving Up the Ghost Facebook. Uh, <laughs> is there anything I'm missing? No, but you know what you look like when you're doing that? You're doing the dramatic sh- William Shatner pause I thing. I, I love too. that. <laughs> that is awesome. It's my brain, it makes my brain work. That I way. know. <laughs> So, and also Twitter. We are twits. We, we are, we yeah, tweet, we're we twitties. Twit. Join the celebration. Join the party. Are we still calling this the magnetic spear uh, of fortune? fortune? Is okay. that what we're calling it? Some the number? magnetic sphere of fortune. Is this a ramble sode? Is it a ramble sode? Is oh, this a ramble sode? It is a ramble sode. And we'll watch it. Ooh, and, oh, shit, ooh, it's ooh, about hitting here. the microphone. It is angry. It's the angry sphere of and fortune. And the answer is... Better not be asking, friend, because I have no friends to ask right now. Yeah. I have, I have Facebook no friends. friends. Does that count? <laughs> well, uh, she's my Facebook yeah, friend. Yeah, there you go. Oh, 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 oh. maybe, maybe, yes, yes. It's just yes, a ball yes. of confusion. Look at it that. It is. Definitely, maybe, it maybe. It is maybe a ramble maybe the ramble sub. Well, okay. what is it going to be? It's all what can be. So there's anyway. a few things I've always been curious about, scared. They always say you talk about or you, you try and discover the things that scare you. You confront the things that scare you. The one uh, thing, I don't know, I'm, I'm contorted. I don't know if it is an actual urban legend. I don't know if it's a myth. I don't know if it's like a Slenderman thing, but black-eyed children mm-hmm. scares the shit out of me. <laughs> I ain't holding yeah, back on that creepy. one. Yeah, they're pretty creepy. Yeah, they're pretty creepy, yes. So we were just doing some research on black-eyed children. And, uh, yeah, like, basically, there have been reports of these accounts throughout North America, but mostly in the States. Mm -hmm. Legend has it, black-eyed children show up in the dead of night, and they'll show up at your door. They'll knock on your door, and they'll say, can I come in? Can Can I help me? And they're usually in pairs. They're usually in pairs. They come across like they've been abandoned, or they're lost, or they need to phone their parents. And, of course, you're nice, and you always say, well, for sure, right? Hell no. (laughs) Well... I guess they had, like, pretty blue oh, eyes no. or something or whatever. <laughs> so, again, black-eyed children. Sorry Creepy. about that. Creepy. I was just looking at the... found a website called Thought Catalog. There's actually some stories here. Yes. Kind of creepy. So, basically, for some reason... Oh! What? I can't use that word, Sherry. You said... Ba- oh, me. Like, shh, My shh, God. Shh. On our first episode, <laughs> playing it back, I was horrified. Not just because of the talent tone or sound of my voice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I said basically like 23, I lost count, 23 or 25 times. Uh-oh, basically. That's Crap. it. Drink. Drink. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. But, uh, so black eyed children, they come in pairs normally. Yeah. Instead of basically. Uh, they dress in period clothes. Like a lot of times yes. people report them as being like Amish clothing or something from like the 40s or 50s. Like almost like uh, men in black type-esque type things, right? Yeah. And of course, notably, their eyes are all black. No white pupils, which is really creepy. Creepy, 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 yes. And then they come looking for help. They're portraying that they've lost touch with their parents. So I don't even know. This one said, I have to use the phone. My mother is worried. Creepy, your mother from where am I? So I don't even... (laughs) Mother from another (laughs) brother? Yeah. (laughs) Anyway, but like, uh, so I'm thinking black-eyed children... I don't even think that that's like apparition ask. I don't even think that's like, I don't know. Like it's not nothing to do with like the, the other side. Like I think it's almost cryptoid, almost like alienish, right? Weird. Just plain. And I don't know. It's not even like, Mm -hmm. not even like, um, poltergeisty or taken over. or I don't know. Mm -hmm. I listened to another podcast for the last couple of years. Love these guys. Um, Aaron and, uh, Jeremy, I can't remember. (sighs) Yeah, like I've been listening to them for years. Uh, they're with Mysterious Universe, and they've had some of the best coverage on stories 
of black eyed children. Um, like it's, it's amazing how these kids want to come in and I mm-hmm. guess once they get in, you're people, screwed. People, <laughs> <laughs> kiss it goodbye. Yeah, that's it. I guess black eyed children, they, um, they cause like illness and people get really, really sick after. Do you think maybe that, maybe that has like folklore or maybe like, like connections Slenderman? to like, uh, plagues or actual disease? I don't know. You think maybe or like, something? Why do they need to get in so much? I don't know. Yeah. They always want you to get into your house, into your car, into your house, into your car. That's what it's saying. Like demonologists, apparently. Like it's almost like the yeah. vampire theory, right? Yeah, that's like, kind of what they're talking about. Let me in. Right? Yeah. Like you cannot. Like they come can't on. enter unless they've been allowed, right? But or it's been not approved. like it's a holy ground. It's not no. like it's a church. It's not. No. You know, like shit. If you want to get in the house, you can just, just get, get in the house. house. I know. I, gangsters do it. Like yeah. thieves do it. <laughs> Why can't the little black Why can't, kids do it? Like some fortress of solitude, like yeah, Superman or something. But yeah. But apparently, demo, demonologists believe that the children are of the devil himself, and if you let them in, you are allowing the devil to enter your life. I don't know about that. Mm, I, I don't mean, know. People would have to be pretty religious. I've actually seen videos. Actually, did you ever see that one no. video from the UK? No, really, it was it was like kind of weird. It was from the UK. Hmm. It is a couple of men. They're probably maybe. They sound and look like they're maybe in their 20s or 30s, right? Mm -hmm. And they're driving down, not like a particularly dark country street or anything. Sort of looks like a street on the outskirts of like a burb or something. Mm -hmm. But they're going around a corner. They're just like everyone's got like a dash cam, right? Mm -hmm. Going around a corner, all of a sudden in the middle of the road is a child. Fuck no. And they put the brake. The guy jams the brakes on. And you can hear the guy go, no, 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 no. No, fuck. Back we'll up. Send back help. up. We'll be back in five seriously, minutes. Seriously, seriously. I was like, <laughs> it was pretty weird looking. I mean, yeah. there's no way that some young mm. kid is going to be like just farting around in the middle of the road at no. like midnight. No. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Kind of creepy. Like, I mean, okay, we are in Winnipeg and you hear the odd story of kids found outside oh. and running around. Yes. With no shoes and stuff like that. Yeah, never diaper. <laughs> <laughs> never black eyed children's stories. Like, this is stuff we want to find out if anybody in, in or around Winnipeg or Manitoba has ever heard of even ghosts or apparitions on the side of the road. I know when, is it Wisconsin or Minnesota, there is like a famous, is it Mary, apparition of Mary? Like, you don't really hear of highway ghosts in, in Manitoba, no. do you? No, not Winnipeg? really. No. How come? I wonder why. Like by cemeteries or something like that? <sighs> you know, and we have, well... Mind you, Manitoba's got a lot of countryside. People mm-hmm. don't travel it a lot all the time, maybe. Yeah. Like, for all the ghost know. stories I've ever heard, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, yeah. rurally yeah. speaking, I've never heard of apparitions on the side of the road and no. stuff. And there's so many car accidents, like so oh, many. Oh, God, you know, winter Manitoba? Shit. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. But, yeah, it'd be interesting to hear if anybody has any feedback on uh, black-eyed kids or apparitions on the roadside. Like, again, uh, please give us a contact um, email for at giving up the ghost podcast at gmail.com uh we'd like to explore it a little bit more because mm-hmm. i firmly believe in my interview that i had with joel walling um at the npm uh, night stalker podcast network um there seems to be a lot of similarities as to uh supernatural paranormal events right across north america um you know and, and to a certain extent like we have our winnipogo we mm-hmm. have our sasquatch or, yes or bigfoot or however right you know the, like we want to explore at some point too further up the road like the cryptoid and stuff the ufos mm-hmm. and, um, and how similar they are across the countries right yeah, maybe so, you know or like just in, compare ourselves with other people yeah yeah it'll just be interesting so i mean mm-hmm. you know for sure i mean i'm i'm an optimistic skeptic as is sherry mm-hmm. we have no religious connotation nope. spiritual. we are curious people we are curious and we want to know mm-hmm. the truth and see what's going on out there absolutely so. But, uh, yeah, so black-eyed children is the thing that uh, creeps me out the most. Um, <laughs> I don't know what creeps me out the most. There's lots of creepy shit. That's all I can say. So, basically, these children want in, and they, whether it's a ride in their car or if they want to into get into somebody's house. house right? Yes. And then, eventually, uh, some people have even said that people end up picking up these children, and they're just as creepy ass as the kids. So, basically... <laughs> They'll see shadows of, like, men in fedoras and stuff, almost like Amish. Oh, you really? Know, black cars. Oh. Come and pick up these kids. And the kids will leave the houses, and they won't even wave to say, hello, thank you, oh. thank you for the cookies, or whatever. They'll Ooh. just, like, exit stage left. So, wow. That's yeah. creepy, though. It really yeah. is. I so, don't know I don't know how these things start. And people. Did I say basically again? I'm really trying to catch I don't know. On that. I didn't notice that no. one. I'm sorry. More wine. <laughs> just for the sake of it. Yeah. 
But, you know, and then the people who, the reports that you've read or the stories you've read, the people that do unfortunately let these kids in, they get so sick after like cancer symptoms oh, and their pets don't. die and, Ooh. oh, brutal. So, I mean, like, yeah, please, please That's don't That's funny. He's in the black eyes, right? He's on, see, all of a sudden I'm like flipping, don't mean to like throw in shows or anything. Yeah. Remember X-Files with the black eye thing going Yeah, on? okay. I remember. Yeah. Love X-Files. So I'm just wondering, like, if that must have some sort of basis of some folklore, some know. story, or maybe know. so many people have reported it that they've just used it. Yeah, right? exactly. Or they were just brushed off by, like, yeah, okay, have another cocktail. That's <laughs> Smoke another doobie yes. there, buddy. Smoke one more. No, yeah, but no, that's that's odd. Yeah. I find it fascinating when people from around different areas yeah. report the same kind of things. Was I at you know your I mean? place uh, a few months ago when we first discussed going together with a, a podcast mm-hmm. theme? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, hey, Cher, <laughs> let's check out YouTube and see what they have to say because I'd seen a couple of videos. <laughs> and the first thing I picked was this guy. He had surveillance video set up and he openly said, so apparently the way it works is if you want black eyed children to show up, <laughs> they will show up. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a, that's without a using the F bomb again, that's a hard no for no, me. No. And I said, you can watch this on your own and let's just shut this off and pretend we never saw this <laughs> again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't get spooked too easy. Like when I'm, when I'm faced with uh, paranormal adversity, I tend to laugh it off with humor, but yeah. like, I don't want to go looking for it. No, I'm not. Hey, come on in. No, if it happens, that's not. it happens and yeah. we'll deal with it. But um, especially bad ones. Yeah. Like, you don't want to break. Hey, come, creepy things. Paranormal. To me. <laughs> oh, shit. No, that would be pass. an awesome Halloween costume. Oh. Oh. It would be. Oh, my God. Can we pay your child to do that? Because. Oh, he would. Oh, totally shit. Totally in yeah. a heartbeat. Oh, absolutely. Good kid. Good kid. Oh, yeah. That'd absolutely. Be awesome. Yeah, anyway. make a creepy kid. Yeah. Oh, my God. Get the creepy kid. <laughs> so. But. Uh, the, the The original goth kids, maybe, eh? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, there you go. So, okay, so that wraps up that. Another thing I would like to discuss. So, last year, I don't know what thread or what what survey or, you know, you go on a rabbit hole and you click, 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 click. And next mm-hmm. thing you know, you're reading about, like, things that nurses and doctors hear from people just before they die in hospitals. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I've been obsessed with this. I was telling Sherry the other day, I read an article last year. Of course, I can't find it again when I want it. <laughs> Um, but basically people in hospitals, but just before they die or, or known to die, they see and hear shit. Like it's almost like they're just on the the brink. They're just on the crossing. Yeah. yeah. I have seen that too. But I couldn't, the one I, that was most interesting, this one story had like 20, 20 different stories and descriptions. And I swear to God, out of 15 of them, every time these patients, not necessarily elderly, just people that are sick and stuff. They see a cat in their room and they'll ask the nurse or the healthcare aide, they'll say, why is there a cat in my room? That's Who let odd. a cat in? So it's almost like that's like the ambassador. I think they are. They're it's like the guardians side. to me. Yeah, yeah. I honestly, that's what I always thought about them. I'm not them. threatened or scared of cats. I love cats. I love oh, cats. I love cats too. I, I always mean, had them, but. I mean, because of my living situation, we have a dog by choice just because people are allergic to cats in this oh. house. So that's unfortunate. But yeah. you know what? Shit, if I was on my own, I'd probably have like a freaking rescue. I know. Thing I was thinking if I was like, you know, I mean, if I, when I'm 80, <laughs> that when I'm 80, I'm going to be surrounded by them. Um, They'll find me everywhere. I'll tell you later about the cat lady I used to know. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, but. Um, no, yeah, no. I think that, that, I think, well, you know what? Think about it. Mm-hmm. Pharaohs used to mummify their cats and bury true. them with them, right? Very true. To I escort know. them to the other side. That's maybe? right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where did that come from? I mean, I yeah, don't know. Exactly. Like, it's I mean, very even, interesting. Even a lot of this fork, blah, 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 blah. fork, fork, <laughs> fork you, <laughs> fork you, and the horse rode in. I really am not drunk. <laughs> no. Seriously. Um, I could be drunker, but I'm not. <laughs> but seriously, like uh, the folk lore, um, you know, where do people get these things from? Like imagination only carries you so far. Absolutely, like, yeah. Everything that is out there today has to be based on something. So you would think like dragons and oh, everything, elves and fairies, and I'm opening up a whole new can of oh, worms. Oh, man, that's so cool, though. I've seen fairies. So eh? stuff. Have you seen fairies? Oh. It's in my book called... Uh, <laughs> self-promotion and in, <laughs> insert your insert your 
Uh, <laughs> self shameless promotion. Yeah, here. that's okay. No, the book that I'm writing, um, called The Creepy Me. Seventy five percent done. Uh, describes an incident that I had, and I'll just leave it like that. Totally sober, I was a kid, and I clearly remember it as day. And my dad can collaborate that story. Cool. I'll leave it like that. That's really cool. But what I'm saying again, going back, not to deviate too far off our guided path here, <laughs> or deviated. unguided path, we're, we're, uncharted path. We have a deviated. Holy crap! Eh? <laughs> but I mean, like seriously, like I mean, you know, folklore. Oh, I did mm -hmm. folklore, all this kind of stuff. Like whether you know, like Irish, Scottish, German, oh. Scandinavian. They have so much stuff based on what? Where did they get this? Imagination only carries you so no, far. No, I know you can only be so creative. I mean, there's people can think of some pretty weird shit, True. but for it to actually be passed on mm -hmm. and stay with people for long enough, yeah, someone else has got to see something, right? Right. You know what I mean? It's like I can tell you a story. You may wake up tomorrow and not remember it, but if you see the same thing, right, then you'll pass it on to somebody else yeah. too, right? That's why I like to say I'm an optimistic skeptic yeah. because until it actually happens to you, but you have to keep yeah. an open mind, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So, but yeah, so going back to doctors and nurses share the creepiest words mm -hmm. by a patient before dying. I found a few gems. Did you? <clears throat> I found I one too here. Did you? Yeah, I did. So, uh, here's one here. Uh, but I don't know how to get there. Apparently a grandpa in hospice hadn't spoken in days, but then he uttered those words about two hours later to nobody particular in the room, and then he died. Oh, hear this one. Okay. This person was recalling when their grandfather, my grandfather in his deathbed said, they have no eyes. <gasps> oh, oh, that just freaks me that's out. That's my number three, actually. <laughs> is yes, it really? It is. It totally is. <laughs> How about this one oh here? Uh, an orderly overheard an old lady whisper this to her husband dying of kidney problems. You're going to beat this, and you got away with murder before. This is nothing. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. Bazinga. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, okay. Shit. Okay, that's that's a bit weird. Uh, yeah. That's weird. Uh. Okay, another one here. Did you have the no eyes one? Here's another yeah, I one. Mm -hmm. I see a bright light. Horses. No eyes. No, <gasps> no. And he yelled loudly. Shit. What the frig? What the no <laughs> eyes thing? See, that's why, you know, hospitals are so haunted. I get such a freaked out feeling in hospitals. My, obviously, our kids were born there. But, I mean, I've had people that yeah. died in hospitals, too. Oh, yeah. There's so much shit that goes on. Oh, tons. I so, can't imagine. I can imagine the I try stories. and enter them with, like, a good attitude good intentions yeah, yeah. If, even if i know someone is like really deathly ill I, I go in there trying to be like in my own mind yeah. like a bright happy light in there it's really hard sometimes uh, but so hard. but if you go in there and be all down i feel like you just leave like exhausted well, the energy right like we're I going know. back to the energy yeah you know? absolutely you know? yeah um and i think uh, so much of the energy is so contained in there and it's got nowhere to go you know mm. to the people that don't know they're dead oh i hate oh, to say that i know that are dying when you're in there Mm. Right? Every time you yeah. go in a hospital, someone could potentially be dying when you're totally. going in there. Totally. You know, yeah. like, or even yeah. cemeteries, right? For what yeah. that's worth. Like, I mean, um, you know, like what we'd like to try and accomplish during our podcast, just exploring the unknown and try to make sense of stuff and find the history and trying to make a connection and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. it'll never happen. But at the same time, you know, places like the cemetery or a hospital would be no place all we could really be carrying on stories like there would be nothing that would come good of us exploring options of doing oh, votes or, no, or doing history no. because we know what the history is that's right and it's you know and these are dead ends yeah you know <laughs> but i'm bump <laughs> no pun intended no but you know you don't want to go and interfere and in people's well no everyday i mean lives. it's a respect thing absolutely yeah. i respect people yeah. and respect i love walking through cemeteries i've done it a oh, lot. oh yeah you know i and, love and country cemeteries there's yes there's there something is special a about them serenity i know? know um i know of a cemetery in woodridge manitoba i would like to kind of do remote there because i feel at peace there it's actually a dead cemetery again no pun intended uh, but the church burnt down years ago and oh it's, and that's it's it basically no matter... not maintained Oh, and people come there and they, they don't just, mow it or anything now. No, and people come oh. there and they bury their loved ones. Oh, without permission or anything because shut it's a the center. front door. Really, I went to my uncle's funeral by last year. Really, seriously, and there's no maintainer there anymore. No, nope. yeah. people just come and they bury relatives with tombstones. You should see where and... some of my hubby's. It's like in the pines. Yeah, 
Yeah, like it's just a little cutout in the that's vines. That's just like this. This, this does not even have a flag or... No, there's nothing no. there. You wouldn't even know it's there unless you knew like how to drive cemetery. down that. This No yeah. disrespect intended. No, I know. You would not know. Down a back gravel road. That's exactly it. I know. It's so not weird, eh? we should go on a road trip. I wonder trip. how many of those are around the world here. Pretty much, eh? Right? Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know who left off. Oh, no, oh, no yeah. eyes. Creepy shit. Okay. No eyes. With no eyes. Everyone's got no eyes. Mm. And then um, another story here was uh, an apprentice funeral director he had gone to a nursing home on removal and i mean it's not like they wear like badges that they're from a funeral no home. it's not like oh, they're like hello yeah. we're here yeah. bring out yeah. your dad you know yeah. or anything but apparently this uh, apprentice funeral director was walking down the hall to one of the patients and then another patient got antsy flew open the door opened the door to his room and they saw them walking with the stretcher maybe uh-huh. they just made the assumption Ooh. and then the patient says to them, i'll see you guys next week boys and guess what? Who they picked up next week? Oh, shut up! Really? Hold <laughs> <laughs> it! Oh, oh, God! Uh, next. Oh, got one. Got a getter. I had a, I had a resident at end of life on comfort care. I went in to say goodbye, and she opened her eyes, and looked me right at me, and said, "Help! They're torturing me." <gasps> it was awful. She was oh. drugged. What? Oh, she was totally drugged out. And mm. gone, but obviously still feeling pain. That's kind of creepy. Help, yeah. they're torture. I wonder what she was. Maybe she wasn't uh, a good maybe person. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she wasn't going to the up place. Maybe not. Maybe she's going downtown. Oh poop. No, oh. that sucks. Yikes. Always be good people. Yeah. Be, be good. good. Be, yeah. Be good. <laughs> Do good. Be good. <laughs> <laughs> religious or religious or not, be good anyway. That's right. That's right. Or you the car and bus is going to come and fuck you That's up. right. Yeah. You me, don't me, want me, me, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have one here where uh, this lady was an RN, and while she was a student, she was caring for a lady who had end-stage renal failure. She had a do not resuscitate. Uh, her body was shutting down, and she was having a little chat with the lady to comfort her. And along the way, she was putting lotion on her, and then she stopped. And then she looked over uh, the RN shoulder, the patient did, and said, Bill's here, love. I've got to go. <laughs> and, swiftly, and swiftly stopped breathing. Um, reading her old notes, she... Uh, found out that Bill was actually her deceased husband. Aww. I have Aww. actually a sidebar sad story. Bill, I've got to go. After my grandfather passed away, mm-hmm. um, my grandmother was obviously distraught and oh, they yeah. were married 64 years. Wow. Right? Holy shit, that's and a lifetime and a half. No shit. <laughs> I mean, if she would have murdered him, she would have been out by now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's only 25, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> With good behavior, <laughs> good behavior. Um, but but in any event, like they came over from Germany, they've mm-hmm. been together forever, 64 years. Mm-hmm. He had passed. She was distraught. I was comforting her, and I mean, you know, I I, I kind of hugged and my gra- kissed my grandmother and grandparents before. I mean, as I was getting older, like they weren't the most affectionate and stuff. But I was consoling her. I had my arm around her, and she kept bowing. She goes, "I just want five more years." I just want five more years. And oh. guess what? Be careful what you say, people, because really? she lived five years and two months after him. No way. So that is a reminder, people. Whoa, watch Somebody's listening. Yeah. Fate is a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to pay up when wow. you, you make him promises. There. Really? Yeah. Seriously. Wow. Anyway, enough about that. That's creepy. What do you got? What's your I was next? just looking. I was just looking at I wanted to see what this one was about because someone was angry at somebody. Mm. I went to visit him at the hospital and what ended up being the final day of his life. And when he and I were finally alone, he leaned over to me and said, Stan, there have been angels in my room, on and off, since just before sunrise. I asked him if he thought it was the morphine, which normally he would have been, like, the first to suggest. He said, no, I'm not fucking with you, buddy. I'm not talking about feeling angels or anything. There are actual angels who keep coming into my room. I asked him if they were frightening. He replied, no, they're actually making me calm the fuck down a little bit. Mm. He passed later that evening. Shit. (laughs) Hold it. He called it. Oh, I just crap. like the way they have the word. No, I'm not fucking with you, buddy. Old people swear? <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. These are angels. <laughs> wow. Three angels. That is just like interesting. Um, I have one here. Uh, apparently a nice old lady who told the uh, registered nurse, she says, I wanted to wear all, I want to wear all white when she was asked why. She says the man in black is here. Oh. She looked over the corner of the room, and then the nurse looked, but there was nobody there. Uh, that's when uh, the other head nurse or whatever had come in the room, and she had she she asked her to describe what was she was seeing, and she says, 
He's all in black and he's got a top hat on. And then she whispered, and his eyes are red. <laughs> While her eyes move eyes. across the room, uh, directly behind the, the other nurse. And, like, she was watching him move closer to us. And then she died later that night. Oh. It was unexpected. Uh, the room had creeped out both nurses for quite some time after that. Okay, what's with the freaky eye people? I don't know. When I did my interview with uh, oh. with Joel and uh, Michael uh, earlier this week, Michael had had a really cool story about apparitions and the story in the, in the hospital where mm-hmm. he actually. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, this is give me a wall. Batter up, Sherry. What Batter you up. Got, what you got? I'm looking. Me? I'm looking. I'm looking. I can only read so fast, woman. Make, make me shit my pants. I can't make it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a dare now. I know. It's like a dare. I'm trying to find. I'm just trying to find some creepy ones. I, all I keep saying is, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Uh, an 83-year-old woman had said, my mom's here. Are we going? And then she died a few minutes later. <laughs> so sad. But, you know, it's uh, kind of comforting when you when you think there's people on the other side receiving their loved ones, you know? Do you really believe that? I'd like to believe that. But do you really, honestly? Mm. You know, recently our family had a death in the family. I he, I just had multiple in the last two years. Oh my god! And he, and he multiples. Was, but he was fairly young, without getting yeah. into details. Yeah. No disrespect to anybody. No, but no. He was a very kind-hearted, good guy. Mm-hmm. His mom had passed nine years ago. Mm-hmm. The only comfort that gave us and myself, many people, was that the he fact was going that, to meet her. That hopefully she was receiving him on the other side. Yeah, I know. You know, I know. It's really tough. I because totally it's all about love. That. You just you just want love and comfort, right? Absolutely. You know, whatever I know. whatever I know. they didn't find in this life, you hope that they find in the next. Oh, hopefully. I I kind of think sometimes that hopefully we get to relive another part. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like maybe a hundred years from now, I might be back again. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So sometimes maybe energy is restored wanna... and gone on. You know, like when you have deja vu. Yeah. Like, oh, why yeah, do you have deja time. vu? Yeah. Do you have deja vu because it's really happened before? Yeah. Or do you have deja vu because maybe there's another you somewhere else? I want to come back as a bonsai plant because they live a couple hundred years. Oh, shit, yeah. But then and people just get pruned. Should've... They just, their life depends on just pruning you just the right way. And then they're fun. Snip, snip, snip. Oh! <laughs> anyway. No, but That's you know what me. I mean? Yeah, I hear you. No, like, I mean, why, why, why deja vu? And why so intense sometimes? Exactly. Honest, for real. I swear to God, I think I've had memories of things that have not happened to me. Well, I told you, aside from me telling everybody I feel things like a bit of an empath mm-hmm. and coming to terms to understanding this a little mm-hmm. better, again, in my book, <laughs> <laughs> Creepy Me, like I have had so much shit happen where I have precognitive dreams. I'll dream oh, yeah, of yeah. stuff and then I'll... I'll, write it down I'll right email, away? No, no. I'll oh. email people. I'll message people Oh, on and Facebook. say, listen, this is what I jumped to watch. I, I think this might yeah. happen if it hasn't happened. And they're like, that happened last week. Yeah. Like, I nail it I have had time. that before as well myself. I have to honestly say that, yeah. But I'm not I'm not messaging people as, as to like, hey, I'm Fruit Loops here. No. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> Although when I do shit like that, I think I'm Fruit Loops. But I'm just but... hoping I can do somebody a service by giving them a warning. If it yeah. means something to them and perhaps it's preventing something horrific from happening, so oh. be it. I know. think I'm a fruitcake, and I don't really yeah, care. Yeah, I know. See, I used to do that when we'd be driving. Another thing, driving into the country. At night, dark mm. roads. We're talking Manitoba. Do you look for stuff in the bush the... when you drive? Oh, shit, all the time. All the time, right? <laughs> all the time. I look for I shit all the time. I, I don't know. know what it is. No, anyway. I know. But I, I'd be points where I'd be like, I don't know. We'd be driving along and be like, all of a sudden I'd say, okay, you know what? I'm feeling very uncomfortable. You have to slow down here. Mm. Why? I don't know. And for a while he'd be or like, yeah, whatever. Yes. Yes. For a while he'd be like, okay, whatever. But after a while, when I started saying it, he'd be like, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. And he said, is this better? Yes, it's better. Thank you very much. Like, I, I, I started thinking if I didn't say something, mm-hmm. it would not be a good plan. So I just I say whatever I feel now, which sometimes seems crazy, but mm-hmm. whatever. Talk about precognitive stuff. My kid was stressing out about a test and subject in university that wasn't very good. Like, it was hard on him. You know, mm-hmm. first year, Yeah, I don't expect him to, you know, jump hoops and whatever. No, I mean, no. It's hard. It's first God, year. Yeah. And uh, I knew he was stressing about this one subject. I can't remember what the subject was. 
it wasn't his best and and he wasn't doing very well he was kind of flailing you know 60s and 50s and he was like um on a roll in mm-hmm. high school the year before and right. stuff you know? oh yeah well anyway university sucks it does stop you know? and, and and he was trying his his damnedest and his yeah. bestest and and then i i peeked in on him one day and i'm like hey did you get your mark back from that from that one test and he's like yeah i did not do good and i go what did you get 38 <coughs> percent and he's like 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 i thought literally his face went white all the blood ran out of yeah, his i was like what did you google how, how did, did you, you know, know? Yeah. you see and for me it's like when i let my when i let my guard down with yeah. anything yeah and i say the first thing that pops in my head it's yeah. always right i know uh, so that's why i kind of want to be careful and when we go to these haunted houses and stuff, oh yeah that's why I never let my guard down because that's when I see and feel things. Yeah, but it's kind of difficult not fine. to do that though. But it's you know fine. I mean? It's all good. I'm coming to terms with things as yeah. I get older. So. Yeah. I don't know. Do you think we rambled enough? I don't know. I don't know how long we've been rambling for. Huh? I don't know. I didn't. Keep... You didn't stop. Apparently. No, I'm not the timekeeper this time. <laughs> you suck at timekeeping. No. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was just going to look at this one, one other thing. I said spiders are eating Papa is the headline. I was in the army in Pakistan for humanity. Human- <laughs> I was you in the what army. You spiders? I know. I'm sorry. Jesus. It's Pakistan for humanitarian support after an earthquake. There was a very serious school bus crash Ooh. when a road gave and a, mm. a dozen kids were killed. Oh, my God. Why did I read this? I had anyway, a spider dream last night. Too. The first kid that we took off the ambulance and put on the stretcher to yeah, carry to our triage tent mm-hmm. screamed something in Urdu or whatever you say it. When we got there, the doc <laughs> asked the translator what he said, and it was, The spiders are eating Papa. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Hard no. <laughs> so why did I stop on that one to read? Okay, real quickly, I had this dream last night. Yeah. I had this dream last night. That my mom had this fence, and we had built her a new fence, like, a couple, a few years back. And she had this fence, and it was just, like, cluttered full of spider webs. I'm like, what the hell is oh. going on here? And I go to remove the spider webs, and there's this big-ass, mean, ugly-looking spider <laughs> staring me down. And in my head, I'm going to kill you, you fucker. <laughs> and it's looking at me, and it's just like... With all eight of oh, its eyes? Shit. And every time I turn around a corner around the fence, it's, like, looking at me, following back. <laughs> and it was out of reach, but then it started spewing babies at me. Oh. And I woke up. <laughs> Would it fire them off you like a machine gun? <laughs> I don't know. I just saw a baby heading towards me. And oh, my God. Like, wake up. Yeah, wake up. Wake up. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, well, that, this is pretty creepy. That's that's that sad and creepy. Sad and creepy. I don't there know why. Go. Why did I pick that one? I just saw the spiders are eating Papa. I'm like, oh, okay. So you have listened to a ramble sode. Absolutely. Because it's just random stuff that we like to discuss and... Hopefully you enjoy our um, craziness. Probably not, but that's okay. <laughs> we enjoy our craziness. We enjoy our craziness. We embrace it. We embrace so. it with both arms. But thank you again for joining us. Episode 5. Uh, again, we'd like to thank Joel at NPM, Night Stalker Podcast Network. Thanks, Joel. Um, this round, we didn't really we didn't really talk about any externals, did we? Like no. Anything about the No, ghost? no. Oh, credits. that's next. Oops, sorry. That's Oops. next. <laughs> next episode. <laughs> Oh, my God. But, again, as usual, uh, if you care to comment, contribute, uh, if you have anything to add or anything share. to say, share, which as in share, yeah. uh, you can certainly reach us at givingupthegostpodcast at gmail.com. Please, please. Giving Up the Ghost Podcast on Facebook. And giving tweet up us. the ghost at uh, Twitter, because we like to twit, tweet. <laughs> we like tweet. to twit, tweet. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, and by this episode, this is episode five, mm-hmm. we should be available to you on Spreaker, iPod, Apple, <gasps> Stitcher, and Google Play, apparently. Oh, my so. good God. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Now I'm having anxiety again. That's <laughs> <laughs> so we have defibrillators on hand. We on have them as party devices, yeah. you know, just for the shits and giggles. <laughs> And uh, anyway, we're here for you. We thank you so much for listening. It's been a blast as always. Absolutely. And uh, as always, live every day like it was your last. Don't give up the ghost, people. 